It wasn't supposed to be this easy for the Badger men's basketball team Thursday night at the Honda Center in Anaheim. Baylor was the team that always got out to the big leads in NCAA tournament games, and the Badgers knew it. And in hindsight, that was all the motivation they needed. I saw, I saw a tweet about two hours before our game that said they've only trailed in the NCAA tournament for like a minute. So it was definitely really important for us to get, get on them early because they're, they're unfamiliar with that lately. So that you know, was big for us, and uh, we were able to keep that tenacity all game long. And it all started with this guy, the Badgers' seven-foot junior, Frank Kaminsky. On the offensive end, it was another stellar night for the Badger big man. Kaminsky scored eight of the Badgers' first ten points as they jumped out to a 10-4 lead and never looked back. But Kaminsky might have been even better on defense. He finished the game with six block shots and helped contain Baylor as much ballyhooed big men. Did you feel coming into this game you had to take over? And, I mean, were you kind of motivated by maybe some of the things people thought about how this matchup would go in the inside? Um, I don't really try to read into too much about what other people think. You know, I, I can only control what I can control, and that's going out there and playing hard and, you know, trying to take advantage of the other team, you know, trying to come out on the top of the win, whether that's two points, 20 points. You know, it doesn't matter to me as long as we come out with a win. Baylor shot just 20% in the first half on 5 for 25 shooting, as the Badgers opened up a 13-point advantage. For the game, the Bears' outside shooters were stone cold, going a combined 2 for 15 from three-point range. We knew we would have to defend Jefferson and, and um, Austin in the post and gather some too, how we were going to have to play them, how we were going to have to play you know, a guy like Heslop running off screens, and then how you have to be animated with the ball, be able to pass and catch, um, ball fakes, shot fakes, all those type of things that we work on. You know, you've seen practice. We do them ad nauseum at times, but this is why. So you're in these type of situations, they feel very comfortable. And I think once we got, you know, uh, got a little rhythm and figured out what how they were going to play, and I know the guys were coming to the bench talking about everything that they felt was wide open and where we need to continue to attack. And then it was a matter of knocking down some shots too. We had to finish at the rim, which I thought we did a decent job of. Um, and then we were able to you know, get them to condense a little bit and, and go back to on the perimeter with a couple threes. The Badgers were simply too much for Baylor's 1-3-1 zone defense. Eight players scored in the game for the Badgers. Kaminsky finished with 19 points. Ben Bruss chipped in 14. And Nigel Hayes finished with 10 leaving many to wonder why Baylor stuck with its zone as long as it did. Do you think maybe you should have switched to man before that? Or what? It's so hard to speed them up in man zone. Um, uh, we were hoping that uh, if we could get a couple misses and again uh, allow them to start having to think about things and have a little stress and allow us to cut into that lead. And that's what we've been successful with. Um, when they went changed their personnel, we changed our defense. I, I think part of why our man work was with the personnel they had in. We thought we had an advantage going man at that point. So um, again, this is this is. I don't know if there's a team that would be uh, worse to, to play from behind from, but they're definitely a team that you don't want to play from behind. Wisconsin will try to ride the wave of Thursday's big Sweet 16 victory over Baylor into Saturday's Elite Eight showdown with the Arizona Wildcats. The Badgers have never been to a Final Four during the Bo Ryan era, and they are so close now they can taste it. Reporting from the Honda Center in Anaheim, Rob Hernandez, BadgerBeat.com.